Paula Boaz just moved into this house two months ago. She didn't know she had so many noisy neighbors living underground the last 17 years. Now taking over her yard for a summer cicada orgy. The males are the ones who make the noises. They're singing to find their mate. The females are silent. As soon as you see them attached to a branch, that's when they are, they're cutting like a slit in the branch to lay their eggs. I think I'm, ah, they get on you. <laughs> Paul is a middle school math teacher who has become an internet entomologist. So if you're standing under a tree and you feel like there's raindrops falling, it's actually cicada pee. I felt that a few times. I'm super creeped out. Like these, they blend in with the uh, bark. The brood X cicadas love mature trees and undisturbed ground, like at Southeast Way Park. They have emerged in waves from these holes in the past couple of weeks. Brood X only comes out once every 17 years, but when they arrive, they come in huge numbers and make a whole lot of noise. I love them. I think they're so cool. Indy Park's naturalist Caitlin Stahl picks the cicadas off trees like berries. They are harmless, yeah. They're just big and clumsy, like big old dopey puppy dogs. I think it's so magical. I don't remember uh, when they came out 17 years ago, so I've been looking forward to this for quite a while. Paula just can't wait for them to leave. Their life cycle is four to six weeks, so we figure we're about the end of June. They'll all be gone. Fingers crossed. <laughs> For now, the cicadas are the song of the summer.